Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Scrap Mechanic Survival Mode, and today we're picking up right where we left off. I literally just logged back in right where I ended the last episode. We got our glow bugs still here, looking fantastic, and, um, I was planning on doing something as a follow-up to that. I just happened to also get an overwhelming number of comments telling me to do exactly what I was already gonna do anyway. So in the last episode, we just finished creating this system for uh, creating glow poop so that we can have a good supply of glow poop for bombs or whatever else they, you might need them for. I think bombs is the main thing right now. And right now, this is a gravity fed system. But I, after I installed this system and ended that episode, I remembered that um, I had never done this before, but I'm aware that the vacuum pumps, if hooked up to a chest, um, that has blocks in it, the vacuum pumps can spit out blocks and actually attach them onto other blocks. So you can essentially build using vacuum pumps. Now, if I do that with cardboard, I could probably spit out just some blocks of cardboard right down here for these guys to eat. So I'm actually all out of cardboard right now. I'm gonna have to go get some more scrap wood to make cardboard. But rather than just building uh, my cardboard onto here and then dropping it in like this for them to eat, uh, instead, what I could do is just put it all into a chest that automatically spits out the cardboard whenever there's cardboard in it. And I can have it, uh, I can have vacuum pumps go here and here. And I think I might also want to build more of this, but I need, I need more of everything. We're gonna have to do some logging in this episode to get some of these materials. But yeah, I think I can create a four uh, square system. I mean, I guess technically it would be a 16 square system since there's like four squares in each of these squares. It depends on the scale that you're looking at. I was thinking about this is one square here. This is two squares here. So if I add two more, it'll be four squares. And I think I know of a possibility in my head at least on how I can turn two chests into a four square feeding system for these glow bugs but I don't have enough wood right. This is like, this is all the wood I have left, 57 wood. So it's been a while since we've been logging. So let's go ahead and do some, uh, I have this car made of wood right here that is very, very tempting. Very tempting. <laughs> but I know that that's not, that's all. And you know what? I can't get even get scrap wood from that. I could get this kind of wood that I actually need to build this, but I can't get scrap wood from that. Um, oh, I can get wood. What am I thinking? I have so much wood that I'm not really even actually using right now. I'm just going to grab some wood from here because this isn't serving a huge amount of big purpose at the current moment. Okay, so now if I'm doing this correctly, I should be able to extend this out like that. And then this is going to be where a light goes. That's going to be where a light goes. And I should also be able to extend this walkway like that. That should line up there. This is looking good so far. Light goes there. Light goes there. Where is the center point? This looks like the center point. Okay, this is looking pretty good so far. The tough part is going to be finding eight more glow worms that aren't like super far apart. All right, and I think with the vacuum pump, uh, the vacuum pump is going only to need a single block because I think it's going to be spitting out one block at a time. So I think we're only going to need like just a one block spot for it to spit the uh, the cardboard in. Oh, and I forgot to put the light stands there. But I got to be honest, I do like the way it looks better with this uh, plus sign in the middle. So I think I'm going to keep the plus sign. Yeah, I think that looks much better. Um, I do not have a lot of glass left. Man, how do I make glass again? I need sand. I gotta do all sorts of mining to actually complete this section. But what I wanna do is, um, I don't even know exact, I've never done this with the vacuum pumps before when it comes to spitting out blocks. So why don't we just go ahead and start building a system. Does this have a center point? Yeah, this should have a center point. That's a center point right there. So I wanna start a system that it can feed all four of these sections. But I want to test it first on these two here, but I want to build it as if it was as, so I don't have to move it after I finish testing it. So I want the chest. Let's get some chests. I crafted some chests. There we go. Chest, chest. So I need to figure out how I'm going to attach these chests here. I'm thinking like a system. How big are these? If I have them sideways like this. All right. So they definitely need to come in a little bit more. Is that centered? I think that is centered. How big is this? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, perfect. They're odd. So yeah, I can walk straight under that, no problem, which is good. 
So now that one is just like that. All right, I have another one that's attached just like that. And I think I should be able to create... Is that high enough? All right, I don't want any interruptions if I'm walking underneath. Why do I keep going up? Okay, no, I'm good. I think I was just hitting a light. All right, so now I need to make some of these glass tube things. So let me make... I, I guess I should probably just make a bunch. I don't know how many I'm going to be able to make. But let's just make a bunch of these. I'm also going to need some of these. Do they cost the same? Yeah, they cost the same. That makes sense. But I only really need one for now. And can I make this small enough to fit in between these two? Oh, perfect. All right, there we go. So these two chests are connected. And what I should be able to do is continue to attach... Oops. To attach pipes just like this and then I need them to line up a vacuum tube right over here all right so I've never used an elbow before is there okay so there's not really is that centered there's no like adjustment to the elbow like you can't oh that's perfect that is so perfect all right is that perfect whoops that looks that looks good let's do a quick test Oh, yeah, that is perfect. All right, and then all I got to do is slap a vacuum pump right there. I don't know how this is going to work as far as, like, is it going to keep trying to put the blocks down even if it builds it all the way up into itself like that? I don't know what... Maybe it'll destroy the blocks, so I might have to put a sensor system and stuff like that to make sure that it only puts down blocks when it's not full, or maybe they'll eat it fast enough that it'll always be slower than the, the rate that they can eat it. All right, so I think I need a switch to activate the pumps, and I'm going to test it. I don't have any con uh, the cardboard, so I'm going to test it with, um, with wood instead. So if those are just on, they don't do anything yet. So if I put wood in here... What? Did it, did it not do it? Oh. Oh, okay, so I am gonna have to create a logic system because this has to be pressed repeatedly. But look at that, see, it's building it up. Now I wanna see what happens when it builds all the way up. Oh, that's, that's perfect. I don't need to create a sensor system. It automatically senses when it can't do it, and then it stops doing it. So that makes life easier. What doesn't make life easier is the fact that just having the switch on doesn't keep feeding it out. I feel like that makes more sense to me. That's how it works with vacuum pumps on, like, a water container. It just keeps sucking the water in. So I'm gonna go ahead and build this system underneath. I just don't want it to be very visible, pretty much. Alright, there we go. And then check it out. It stops. Ooh, it just... <laughs> We have a light show and everything. All right. We have a light show indicating that uh, systems are not good to go. But it seems like there's nothing destructive that's going to happen with that. All right. So now I'm curious to see what happens. I need uh, these two chests there regardless, just so I can split this off into four sections. Because unfortunately, at this stage, we don't have any T sections, T uh, pipes to be able to split outputs. So the chests themselves work as splitters. So now I'm curious if I have this chest empty. But this chest has something in it. I think I just saw it load. So if I turn this on, it should just pull from... Let's confirm that this chest is empty. It should just pull from the other chest. Yeah, look at that. So now, no matter which one of these chests has or doesn't have stuff in it, um, all once all four sections are hooked up, they should all receive cardboard and start feeding it into these areas. All right, I am also all out of glass. So if I'm going to build out this area with more of these glow bugs, we need sand. Oh, sand is all I need. I can make sand. Okay, let's start making some more sand. Then I can make as much glass as I want. And that's good. For, we're good. All right, let's just have those crafting. And then while those are crafting, I'm going to go out and get some wood, which will make those stop crafting. But it'll be crafting when I'm in range, and that's good enough. Lower the drawbridge. Oh, Hank is still here. He, he's kind of hidden behind the bushes, but he's there. Everyone say hi to Hank on our way by. All right. Hi, Hank. Hi. Hi. There you go. He waved. He waved. As long as he waves, we're good. All right. It has been a while since we've been logging. So does this thing still even work as intended? So here we go. We grab the tree. We, uh, we saw the tree. We pull the tree back. We drop the tree down. We feed the tree into the thing, 
And it's working. And then while that's doing its thing, oh wait, 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 I forgot to close the tree in. Uh, number six, close the tree in, there we go. And then while that's doing this thing, I can go ahead and destroy these extra pieces that are always ended up being there. Okay, and the tree's gone. That tree's already gone. That was it. That was the whole experience for that tree. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna continue doing this throughout the night and probably the day. We're just gonna get a whole bunch of scrap wood and maybe even some wood. I don't know. The uh, the regular wood tends to be a little bit more tedious because of the un inconsistent hit boxes. But so far, everything seems to be working pretty much as intended. So I'll, my, maybe I'll do some time lapse stuff when the daytime comes, because at nighttime it's just not gonna be worth it. But I'll see you guys then. Alrighty, everyone, I think I got a decent full day of tree logging going. I can still, like, this, uh, this side is still full. It's still, you can see, still mining or still crafting. The other side seems to, it seems to be very lopsided for some reason. The right side of my resource collectors seems to collect a lot more than the left side, for whatever reason. And Hank went to get some more milk, apparently. I don't know why he needs so much milk lately, but he'll come back soon. He always does. All right, so let's go ahead and park our vehicle right underneath our grate here. And let's see how we did for materials. Okay, so we got this much for that chest, and we got this much for that chest. So far, it's still crafting a lot. All right, these ones are still crafting sand. How much sand do we got? We got 230 sand there. Oh, now I should probably craft a bunch more glass with the sand. I don't know why I didn't already have that going. All right, you craft glass as well. So now we got sand crafting, we got gl glass crafting, and now I'm just gonna add a whole bunch of this and we're gonna make a whole bunch of cardboard. Now we got cardboard crafting there and we got cardboard crafting here. Sand, glass, cardboard. Oh, and I still have more to add for that. And of course we are still crafting some scrap wood over here, which I'm gonna keep adding in. All right, how are we doing on gas? We used barely more than a tank of gas. All right, so now I should have enough cardboard to test with. Where is the cardboard being crafted to? There we go, 60 cardboard here. And 60 cardboard here. All right, let's let's uh, let's try this thing. So as soon as I put cardboard in here. Look at this. It doesn't even have a chance. Look. Wait, 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 what? What? Why did it? Oh, was I, was I too close to it? This one stopped for some reason. Wait, it instantly disappears. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, interesting. And then it, because cardboard, it floats. The single block floats on top of the water when they eat the one underneath it. But as you can see, they eat it faster than it can even spit. Wait, wait, wait. What's happening on that side? That side is. 
You guys are being slow. Why are you being so slow? Okay, there you go. This is so cool. We have an automatic... This is actually an automatic glow bug feeder. How is it going? So this is almost through 60 so far. This is awesome. So anytime I want to put cardboard here, it's just going to automatically feed it to these guys. And there we go, it's out. Those guys, after all that, those guys only gave me a single poop. You know, it really, it feels really weird talking about wanting poop so much, but that, that's how the game is made, so... <laughs> Alright, we should have some more cardboard now, so let's do it some more. Alright, so now I have 256 plus 64 cardboard, and now it's just gonna keep feeding these guys. This is actually really awesome. I need more glass. How much glass do I have on me? I actually have a decent amount of glass on me, so now I'm gonna try to build out underneath here. Alright, so while these guys are getting automatically fed, I'm going to go and check on the status of the glass. This is awesome that the glow bugs are just getting fed automatically now. Don't even have to pay attention to them anymore. Alright, there wasn't a whole lot of glass there. There's 160 each. I'm gonna need more craft bots soon at the rate that I want to craft things. We have almost a thousand left of this, and that creates 10 sand block, and then we need 10 sand block to create 10 glass blocks. And we have 517 of this to go through, but then we're gonna run out of sand. Ah, well, no, we're making sand while we're doing that, so we're not gonna run out of sand first. All right, this is going well. I think this is going well. I got another chunk of glass, so let's continue building. Looks like these guys- this is weird! Now, these guys were slower last time, but I guess these guys really stepped up their game, because now these guys are super slow compared to them. Is there like- is there some kind of difference in the rate? I wouldn't think so. No, like the rate should be exactly the same, but somehow these guys are keeping up with the speed and these guys are falling behind. He doesn't look like he's eating. No, he is eating. He just spit out some poop. Spit out some poop. That's not how that works, Scrap Man. <laughs> Alright, let's just get building. Let's get building this uh, this glass bottom now. I'm gonna stop doing the words thing because uh, I'm not doing too well with it. Alright, look at all this glow poop being made. Man, we're, this is this is way more efficient than my previous system. Oh, are we out? We're out. We're all out of cardboard. They ate it all already. But that's okay, because we're making plenty more. Alright, how much cardboard did we make in the time that they have eaten that cardboard? Let's find out. Alright, we got- oh, we have a lot more cardboard this time. This is a much bigger batch of cardboard. 200 over here. Alright, let's get them eating some more cardboard. Look at that. Alright, whoa! What? <gasps> oh! Oh! Okay, I need to make an adjustment now. So, I think I can close- oh, I need more glass. I know- did you notice that this one was- this one was blinking a red X, even though there was nothing, uh, down here yet. And I think that's because one of the glow bugs got a little bit too close. So I think what I can do now is actually extend these- the glass tank over so that it actually comes to a point, because we only need this one block of- of availability. So that way they're not gonna be able to push into there, I don't think. And we should keep that section clear. But first, I need more glass. So how much glass have we made now? 90 glass over here. Oh, here we go. 40 right here. And 140 over here. All right, that's good enough for now. I'll at least be able to do what I intend to do with these cages. Or not cages, but tanks. All right, so here is the plan. All right, so basically what I want to do is... I can't... I want to extend this glass down there. I want to extend this glass down there. And I'm going to do the same things on all the sides. Send that down there, and extend that down there. So now, technically, they are completely enclosed into these separate sections. So now let me do the same here, and this should prevent that issue from happening where the glow bugs were in the way. And that should just go straight down there, and as I tested before, they should be able to eat through the corner when the, uh, when the cardboard is there. So here we go. Yep, yeah, look at that. Alright, you should move closer to that one. That still doesn't- this doesn't make sense to me. These guys are way slower than these guys. Why? What is different? They're not eating it. Did I make a mistake over here? What is happening? Oh, 
no. This ruins it. They can't reach there. These guys are keeping up fine. But the problem with having this like this is when the block gets built, it actually gets attached. Oh, wait. No, there's a solution to this, too. I do this. Ready? This is actually... This should work. There we go. Look at that. Now it cannot get attached any higher than they can already eat it. But it still solves the issue that we had before, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, look at that. Come on, come on, guys. Eat, 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 eat. Hurry. Eat. Eat. <laughs> why are you slower? I don't understand why one team is slower than the other. All right, so this side I should technically do the same thing for symmetry's sake. There we go. How we doing? Man, these tanks really actually take up a lot more glass than I remember. All right, look at how much glow poop I've gotten. This is like, this is like a, as much as I got in the last episode entirely with all my tests. All right, guys, I have 83 blocks left, but I am very, very close, I think, to being done with this glass tank here. And I think I finished it. I think we've got them all done. All right, hey, let's give these guys some more cardboard. There we go. So now it's taking out of this chest, the far one instead, as you can see. So that should still keep them going. I don't have a lot of fuel left, but I want to... I want to uh, go out on my boat to try to get more glow worms. Because I think that would be quicker if I just... I could probably put them on the boat itself. All right. I didn't actually think I was going to use this boat anytime soon, but here we go. Let's drop it in the water. And where am I going to put the glow bugs? I'm going to need... I'm definitely going to need like a spot for them. All right, let's see if we still float. Hey, not bad. Can't see anything, but not bad at all. Let's go find some glow bugs. Oh, is that a glow bug right over here? I see like a little bit of a glow underwater right below me here. Yeah, oh, you can't. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yes. And the, uh, the only thing that I'm worried about is if I'm going, will the glow bugs like drift out of my boat? from this position. I should totally be able to fit four there. All right, let's go get these other ones. Over here, here we go. I see the faint, f oh, oh! There's so many right here. Oh. Oh, yes, jackpot. Look at all the Garys. Uh-oh, ah, they're spinning my boat. They're moving my boat, I don't like this. Stop, stop, stop moving my boat. I need to get two more. All right, let's just move my boat over to where there's two more right below me. Pretty much right here. Okay, please. Please, no, 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 stop. Don't take my boat. They're taking my boat. They're taking my boat. They're taking it fast. Guys. No, 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 don't jump out. Gary, please, no, Gary. This is, oh, no. Okay, hold on. We need to make some adjustments. Okay, if you guys could just... Stay still for a moment. There we go. Let me build this up by another block. Okay, here we go. There's one. And... Ugh, there's two. Okay, we got eight glow bugs. Can I get back? Where's home? There's home. Alright, guys. Stay tight. Stay tight. Okay, no! Okay, I don't want to go fast. Don't go fast. <gasps> my boat! No! They're taking my boat! They're taking my boat! I gotta drop this guy so I can swim faster. I can't believe this. They're taking my boat. Guys, come on. <laughs> Give me my boat. Look at this. Alright, you know what? We're taking these guys then. Um, I think... it's not, I'm not gonna be able to get back to my boat if I'm not careful. So, let's just take seven for now. I'll go out and I'll get that last one. I can't turn. I can't turn. Come on, guys. Stop fighting me here. You're gonna get unlimited food. You want this, trust me. Oh, there goes another one. And, oh no, I'm dehydrated. I don't even have, I didn't bring any milk with me. All right, eat, eat, eat. <laughs> this is going terribly. Okay, I have six with me now. Six is a start. Come on, there we go. Let's get you guys into your tanks. Oh, okay. Those ones are good. Now we just need two more. I think that was way easier at night. Oh! 
<laughs> We're doing some uh, Olympic diving now. All right. Can I see any underneath me here? I don't see any. Why is this going to be so much harder now? Gary. Wee! <laughs> oh, I think I see him. Here we go. There's one. And there's two. All right, we got them. All right, you guys shouldn't give me any trouble, right? All right, just stay in. All right, you go right there. And my frames are dropping right now. I think I got to lift my gates up. You go right there. Oh, what? How does this work? How does this work? What happened over here? You guys, that's not how you eat cardboard. All right, well, before we put some more cardboard in here, let's uh, finish the system. All right, we're almost ready. We are almost ready. We just got to hook this logic gate up to these vacuum pumps. And now everything should be blinking like crazy. And then we just put some cardboard in here. And now every single one of these sections, we now have 16 glow worms ready to produce glow poop. <laughs> oh, you know, I need lights. I need lights to add to these, um, to the other ones so that I can make everything symmetrical. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, oh, I'm missing two lights. All right. I'm missing two lights for this middle section here, but that's fine. And there's something I'm curious about. If I put this in the other direction... Okay, it doesn't... I was wondering if it would detect that there's glow here and suck it up, but nope, it just leaves it there. So I'm gonna have to pick up all the glow manually by just going in and doing this. But honestly, that shouldn't be a big issue. It's not that bad. We have so much... Alright, I think it's like... I think I need to focus on the other ingredients for the bombs other than glow. I think I got plenty of glow now and I'm just gonna finish out this carbon. I'm gonna let this run now my automatic feeding system for glow bugs yeah look at that that looks great all right so there we have it we have an automatic glow bug feeder and I think this is way more efficient than my previous method and we've doubled in size our glow bug farm so we have 16 Gary's now so let me know what you guys want to see in future episodes leave those comments down below where should we go from here um, I'm obviously going to have to get some materials for bombs, and I think we've already used all of our, uh, all of our cardboard that we had, but we're still crafting more, actually. I should probably stop that. Anyway, if you want to see more awesome content like this on the channel, go ahead and check out the end screen right here, and make sure, uh, you are subscribed so you don't miss future content like this. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye!